Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. This is where I air my views and show you what it's like living in France from my perspective. I will cover day-to-day -day DIY projects and garden management. Just remember, this is just a bit of fun. So let's begin. It's uh, 21 degrees today. Absolutely beautiful. It's a bit, a bit warm. Uh, I'm just uh, doing the gardening, which has got a bit overgrown in our Durupa. Uh, especially down there. Um, and up here. So couple of weeks every couple of weeks I'll be down here now in the summer um, yeah overgrown so yeah that's what I'll be doing now and a bit of advice take it from me um, learn by my mistakes if you run machinery um, that requires uh, petrol fuel petroleum whatever you want to call it gas um, Nine times out of ten, it's got ethanol in it. Um, and they're pushing this ethanol more and more nowadays. And it kills engines. So, a bit of advice. If you do get some machinery and it hasn't got a fuel tap, put one on it. Because when you stop using it, you can just turn the tap off, keep it running, run the carb dry... And then you've got nothing in the... It's going, to, it's going to basically be dry. And you can store it over winter, etc, etc. Learn by my mistakes. Um, so, for, for instance, on this one, this Shepa... Oh, you've gone all upside down. On this Shepa... Shepatch. I've put an inline filter... An inline filter stop tap on it's not pretty but it's effective so this this basically hasn't let me down um my ride on tractor mower let me just turn you around again my ride on tractor mower that has got an inline fuel tap so after every time i use it when i go to put it away I turn the tap off and then drive back to the the little garage where it goes and by the time I get there it's dry so there's you get no water ingress in the fuel or anything like that another tip is add fuel preservative to your fuel um, I think it's only something like five mil per ten gallon or something like that or ten liters five mil per ten liters and uh, it, it uh, protects your fuel, I guess. Stops um, uh, water ingress, that type of thing. So just do it. And with strimmers, yeah, well, drain them dry. My mistake, the other one, I didn't drain dry. This one I picked up dirt cheap. It runs, it's good enough, and it'll do the trick while I get the fuel filter for the other one did replace it but i've had to rip it apart and um clean the carb so i'll put another fuel filter in there i'm still waiting for the bits on that but anyway that's where we are and the little black labrador is in there but you can't see her no you can't see her anyway i'm going to crack on i might do a time lapse if you're interested let's see how we get on
Note to self. Bring enough fuel for said machinery. Duh. I was in such a rush to get out and get this done. But so I grabbed the machinery but ran out of fuel. And I got the wrong support, didn't I? I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. But uh, I'm virtually done. I'm just got to bag that rest up. That rest, <laughs> the rest of that rather. A uh, little time is helping us out. She's good. And uh, that's done at the front there. So I've just got to bag this and uh, job done for here today. Oh, and uh, of course, injuries, rosebush. Good job I've got my tetanus coming up, isn't it? Next couple of weeks, I'll have a tetanus chap. Time! Via! Look at her. Good girl! You're a good girl! Yes, you are! Yes, you're beauty, aren't you? Yes, you are! So, on that note, I know it's not a lot, but um, the hardcore stuff will be coming soon. So thank you for subscribing, my new subscribers. One. Yay. Uh, it's a growing channel, so the content will grow. Um, but there we have it. Oh, look at that. Good shot there, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'll say ta-ta for now. Catch you later. Bye-bye.